Hey guys, so I'm back again. Um, I'm still chunking out these videos for you, so you've got your barcode resource. Um, I've done a couple videos on the, I called it the Tin Man Scanner because apparently I got Tin Man and Scarecrow confused. It's Scarecrow that didn't have a brain, so his new name is Scarecrow. Okay, people? Um, that was our wasp scanner. That's the one that does not have, it's not an inventory scanner, okay? There's nowhere in there that there's any kind of computer brain. It is just a way to scan stuff like beep, 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 okay? So beep, beep, okay, okay. Mr. Scarecrow can stay there. Um, I have had these sitting on my desk for about a month and I have yet to open them. So you get to find out what's in here just right along with me. I bought the TC25 um, online, including accessories, docking station, the like, for right under $800. It is an inventory scanner, okay? So the only difference is it does have a brain. It's got like a mini computer in it. So um, let me actually see if I can toggle this back my way, um, which it doesn't look like I can. Um, yeah, so I don't know how to do that. Um, Okay, I have no idea. Anyway, so moving on. Um, the other one doesn't have a brain, right? So this one does have a brain. It's an inventory scanner. It's meant to help with things like pick lists and, um, and cycle counts, which if you don't know what a cycle count is, it's really cool. It's just like a mini inventory count to make things easy, but that's off the subject. So moving on. This is the one that does have a brain. I don't know what we should call him. Edison? No, that's too much like that one chick um something with a brain so this is the one that has the brain so this is our computer and i know it sounds silly that i keep saying that but um if you're brand new to barcode scanning it's really easy to get those kind of scanners confused um you know people think oh i need a barcode scanner and it's going to do everything that's not the case. There's different kinds of barcode scanners. It's just like you have printers that print in black and white, and you have printers that are, laser, you know, color, and then you have laser, and you've got, do they still do inkjet? I don't know. Um, and then you have, like, the 3D printers. It's the same thing with barcode scanners, okay? They all have different specs. You know, some of the Bluetooth scanners might have a bigger range than others do. Um, they have wires. Some have, don't have wires. This right here is called a docking station, actually. Let's bring myself back down to earth. Um, so for the TC25, we decided to go with that one because we thought it was more robust. It looks like the little box held our docking station. They also sent us a couple extra cables. Um, if you want to know where I bought it or how to get one, let me know. We don't sell hardware, but obviously it's part of the job, so I can help you get sorted there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause this video while I get this bad boy out of the box. Box has been opened, and by the way, it looks like we also have a little friend here that's hanging out. Say hi to Gracie. Hi, Gracie. I don't know how I've not run over her yet, so if you hear a yelp, I'm sorry. Um, here's our box. Take out the fun stuff. We have more cables. Okay. Okay. Now, with a docking station, traditionally, and I've not tested this one, I'm assuming it's the same, um, you don't have to keep it in here all the time. It's like a big battery, so it's going to help it charge so that you can bring it out, do your stuff, come back, plunk it back in the docking station, and it's going to exchange information, or not battery, but it's going to exchange information with your computer, okay? Um, let's see what this is. What's this? Zebra power. It says power, so I'm assuming it's some kind of power battery something. Okay, I have yet to actually see the scanner. So that looks like some kind of battery. Yep, that must go to the power plug. Okay, so we've got our pack list. Okay, moving on. Unimportant. All right, so you can fly over there. Okay, we will deal with that in a minute. Okay, moving on. Here's our zebra. Da da da. Is this a moment? I see cardboard. I see a guide. Wow, they really hide this in like little. That's one of those set of doll nesting dolls. And I think this is our guy. Guys, it looks tiny, right? And I tell you why it looks tiny. It's actually a kind of phone. So when I talk about your Android device that you can use for your barcode scanning, all this is is a super duper Android phone. Okay, you can actually even get a SIM card for this if you want to for your warehouse guys if you want to be able to make phone calls from it. I'm pretty positive. Um, 
So this is actually the first time I've looked at it. Okay, it looks pretty cool. Nice, robust. Look at this. I don't think it's going to die. If that broke it, then I'm in trouble. Um, and then if it ever gets a crack, that'd be what duct tape's for, right? But um, I don't think it will because it's meant to be tough. Um, so at this point, I'm going to pause the video while I connect all the doodads together, and I will come back in just a minute. Hey, I'm taking a quick break. Um, to while I'm still setting all this up right I just wanted to make note of something that I absolutely love you see the length of this cable it is probably it's I think it's about six feet this is after I put together some of the parts um, I love that because I know I really hate short cables but in any case carry on I will be back in a minute okay guys so I just plugged it into the dock it's already coming up it says powered by Android okay Again, the biggest difference between this and using an Android device with, like, there's that Bluetooth accessory, which I don't have right now, but I'm going to get. It's a Voyager. I, I was doing some research. I think the one I'm going to get is the Voyager or something or another. It's on our website. Um, and it will pair with your phone, so that your Android phone, so that you can scan barcodes. Otherwise, you just can't scan barcodes. But if you already have an Android phone, I know I have a Pixel. I love my Pixel. I've had it for years. I'm too cheap to get a new one. Um, I've got the Warehouse app on here. For me, uh, if you have an Android tablet, you can use that. To me, unless you just have Warehouse staff and you want them to have one dedicated device, I don't know if I'd buy this device again. I mean, I'm buying it. I bought it now so that I could demo it and test it and show it to clients. But, um, you know, if you've got an Android device and you don't want to, like, go all out, I don't see any problem with using an Android phone and just getting that little Voyager. Now, I may correct myself if I find out the Voyager costs as much as this little guy. But um, I'm guessing it's going to cost around 100 to $200, but I'm not sure yet. So... Um, I'll let y'all know once I check that out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video again while I figure out how, what my next steps are, and I will be right back. Hey, I'm also just going to stop and make a quick note of the fact that in the device box, I've not so far seen an actual user guide like I did with the Wasp. Um, it's all pretty intuitive so far, but um, it would have been nice if they had one. So carry on. I'll be right back. Okay, so these cables were sent. I'm going to have to research to see what they're for because they seem like two of the same cable, but I can't see where the ports are um, for the little mini HDMI port or whatever they call that on the end. So for right now, those dudes are going to hang out over there. Um, yeah, I've looked all over this docking station and the device and I don't see anything, so... Um, but anyway, moving on. So we're about 40% um, charged at this point. I'm going to go ahead and see if we have this connected. Like, how do we make sure that it's connected to our computer? I'm guessing that's what those cables are for, but that's not... If you look in the back, it's a different kind of connector, so I kind of wonder if they sent me the wrong ones. That'd be fun. That's always fun. All right, so anyway, I'll reconnect here after I get it connected, um, and we'll kind of go from there. But so far, that's this is me taking it out of box, um, and he's here. You can see how you know how how it looks pretty you know robust and hardcore. It looks like it's going to be pretty hard to break that guy. So I'm going to let dude there charge. Got to come. I guess I'll call him Zebra. I don't know. Anyway, we will connect back soon. Watch for the next video um, when we kind of carry on this journey. Thanks so much. Bye.